Hi, welcome to A Different Atheist Reads. I'm Christy Winters, and before I start the series, I should probably acknowledge the person who inspired it. That would be Steve Shives and his YouTube channel, his series on his channel called An Atheist Reads. Steve's great. If you haven't found his channel and somehow you find found mine, go ahead and click the links that I'll put in the comment section or above the comment section below. He, what Steve does that makes such a contribution to the YouTube community is he goes through books written by apologetics or apologetics authors, breaks down their arguments, provides counter evidence, provides counter arguments, and does it all with his sense of humor that's really enjoyable and makes a book that I would probably otherwise find excruciating. I get to read Ray Comfort without having to read Ray Comfort. And that is why I support him on Patreon and why I subscribe to his channel. So if you, again, if you haven't heard of him, go check him out. If you have heard of him and you want to know if the series is going to be kind of close, yes it is. Although I'm not Steve Shives. So I'm sorry about that, but I do think the format is a really fantastic format. This idea of breaking books up, you know, into their chapters and having a summary and having a discussion about it. It's kind of like a one-way book club. And so if you enjoyed his series, I hope you check mine out. What I want to do in this first video is explain a bit about how I've organized the series and then give a little bit of exp explanation as to why I've organized it that way. So in this video, I'm going to give an overview of how I came to decide it, uh, which book I wanted to choose, and the structure, uh, and the history, and how I'm going to plan it out. And the next video, it's a theory video, but don't run away, don't get scared. Um, it's very, very easy, and I'll explain everything. I'll even have charts, I think, maybe. I don't know, I haven't done this before, so I'm kind of winging this. But if necessary, I will have charts. The idea of that section, the theory piece, is to kind of lay out Karen Armstrong's theological worldview and then put up my theological worldview. So that way when we move through the book, I will present Karen's point of view and then I will step out of that presentation and, and give a critique. To get the best out of that, you'll need to know where we're both coming from. So I kind of need to do that. The other thing I want to do in that second video is to provide kind of like a theory of God or at least a series of characteristics attributed to God that we will see come up over the course of the book. And I think by having a fixed structure of characteristics that as we move through the book it will be interesting to contrast and compare the characteristics of God across time and religion and perspective. So that's generally um, the idea of the second video and then I'll start with the introduction to the book and then go through the chapters sequentially. So if you want to skip ahead now to the theory section, go ahead, um, just click in the next for the next video and that should come up. But before I do that, if you have a few more minutes, I want to just give a little bit of background as to why I chose this book and why I'm having to present this extra theoretical section that Steve doesn't have to do um, in, his, in his An Atheist Read series. Again, I was really inspired by the An Atheist Reads format, and I didn't want to read any apologetics um, f because, uh, and Steve does it better than I ever could, so no point. But I did want to make a contribution using the format, and I'm a scholar, I'm an academic, I'm a geek, I'm a nerd, and so I thought I'll make a nerdy contribution. The initial idea behind A History of God was I was just going to sort of summarize it, go over the major points of the chapters, and then provide links underneath to current YouTube videos or YouTube posters or Yale lectures or whatever else where you could find more information on the topics that had been discussed in the chapter. And the reason I chose A History of God was because when I was going through my own deconversion process, it was one of the books that I read that was really important to me. And as I've watched other atheist stories on YouTube, those of us of well, the pre-YouTube generation, a lot of people have mentioned A History of God as being one of the books that was really important to them. So it was written 20 years ago, it came out in 1994, and now it's 2014, so 20 years makes sense, you know, nice way to wrap it up. The other thing about it was I had a really positive memory of, of A History of God, and I thought it would be very easy and straightforward to present, um, which would be a great starter book for a different Atheist Reads series. Then I 
got the book on my Kindle and started reading it and realized there were a lot of areas where I just disagreed with Karen Armstrong. And that's fine. Reasonable people can, can disagree. And I hope that this book series will actually kind of show two reasonable people disagreeing. So the first thing I, I, I tried to read the book for a while and I was just so lost trying to figure out where she was coming from. I thought, right, I have to put the book down and I have to go listen to her and try to understand her worldview because at that point I was just I couldn't make sense of it. So in that next video that I'll be doing, I will present the research, um, Karen's own words, um, two videos of, the, of hers that I've watched, I will link in the next video. And I will present what I hope is a fair and charitable presentation of her worldview and her the theistic worldview. And when I've done that, I wanna then lay out my atheistic perspe perspective and why I disagree with her. And then the last thing that I wanna set up in this sort of pre introduction, sort of the theory video, would be the idea of a concept of God that we can use together as we work through the book. And this concept of God is going to be a collection of the attributes or the characteristics that uh, either people express about God or we can infer about God's nature as depicted in the Bible and other, in the Quran and, and those holy texts. Um, and watch them as they move over time. And I think that having that external structure to refer back to will really help us all take away something quite concrete uh, as we move through the book. We'll be able to look backwards and then as we move forwards we can, you know, kind of take that with us. So because of Karen's rather unique theistic worldview and my own, you know, very counter worldview, I want to set that up properly so that you get the most out of the book. And from that point on, then I'll go through and do the introduction, the chapter one, chapter two, and so on. I haven't done this before, so I'm a little bit winging it, but the idea right now is to try to get through a chapter per video. Um, and if that's not going to be the case, then I'll have to make some decisions about presenting half a chapter and doing a pro-con or presenting Karen's arguments or my arguments. I'll figure out what works and then I'll post it. Um, so if you have read A History of God before, stick around. I think it's something, I'm, I'm hoping this perspective that I'll bring to it and the conversations that we can maybe have with the comments and going back and forth will bring more meaning for you or bring a different perspective for to you for the book. For those of you who haven't read the book but are interested in it and are using this book series as a way to test out whether this is something that you want to download from Amazon or buy from your local bookstore, um, I think you'll enjoy, uh, even if you decide not to continue with the theory, uh, with the series, at least get through the theory part of it. Um, I think it really will help you as you approach the book to understand where Karen's coming from and also to have this sort of concept of God that you can uh, take with you as you read the book. And if you've never read the book before, you just sort of clicked on this because you thought it was an interesting uh, title or you know thought it was an interesting idea, then I, I hope you get a lot out of this too. Um, please stick around. It's a, it's a really fascinating book and I'm interested to, uh, I'm looking forward to kind of getting into the meat of it and, and really getting your reactions and thoughts as well. So. I hope you stick around for the next video. If not, please do, do check out Steve Shives and his An Atheist Read series. So good. And thank you so much for watching.